Right guys, welcome back to the subscription channel. Big, big shout out this time to Ibrahim uh, Bram Shooting on YouTube, who's um, kindly made this video for me. Um, as most of you know, we've just come back from the first major FITAS event of the year, an international event called the Eurocash, which we were lucky enough to succeed and get the gold medal. So I'm gonna walk you through the shoot off here and talk you through some of the targets. Hopefully you'll get to see the methods and, uh, and see how I approach this event. So let's take a look. Okay, so on station one, I went into this station, two targets behind the leader, one target behind, behind second place. We had this A target, which was probably only 20 yards to the machine, but a full spring going away bird. Um, I decided early on, I was gonna just mount out in front of it. It had a bit of a curl to it. So I just brought the gun up in front of it, not really utilizing any, any kind of method. I just went out to a spot and took that shot and that, that managed to work perfectly. I killed that first barrel. Paul. Paul. Second target came from probably 50, 60 yards to your right off a tower. It's a huge chandelle. And you can see myself muttering to myself and I was just telling myself, let your hands go, let your hands go. And I actually just went a little bit too fast with the first barrel, slowed the hands down enough for the second barrel which was, the, uh, was then when we managed to pull this one off with the second barrel. And as I killed that with the second barrel, my mindset sort of changed. I was like, that's one back. That, that's gonna be one back. That one's gonna be important. Oh. Oh. Then we had the two hard birds to come. This target E comes from way, way, way to the right-hand side, probably a good 85 yards down the tunnel. And I knew this was what it was a bonus bird in my opinion. So I utilized a very, very slow pull away. You'll see my connection to the target on the video coming up. And again, it was a second barrel kill on the way down, all the way down, all the way down the chute. Oh. Again, when I hit that, I started to feel a bit more confident about what was going on. Next target was a huge target off a tower. Um, you'll see it on the video coming up. Um, only two people hit it. I didn't hit it. I believe I shot underneath the line. Um, I also missed it in the double, so I didn't correct very well there. Oh. But we started to progress through and the second next target is a huge target off the tower and again that one we managed to pull off as you'll see in the video first barrel so I hit four out of the five which I was super confident with that gave me um, I believe after the singles I was back level with with first place so we've moved all those places after the singles oh. the doubles we had um the going away bird here and the e target simultaneous it's very apparent on the video i killed the a target and missed the e target high you can see it you can see the shot you can see the game board diamond shot go clean over the top um I don't believe anybody hit that target in the double. Oh. Oh. The next double was the big tower, as I explained earlier. I missed that again. And then the Shondell, which we pulled off. Oh. I missed uh, three total to the peg, 
But as I left this peg, I'd gained the lead by myself. I was out in front. Um, so that changed my mindset. I sort of went into a little bit more of attack mode. And then we moved on to station two. And I was first. When you shoot Fitas, you rotate. So I was first. And Charles Bardot showed us the targets. And I knew this was, this was the peg. This was substantially harder than station two. And I could see where station three was. And I knew this was going to be the most difficult peg. Um, five singles again. We had the A target from the left. We had the E target from the right. We had the tower bird coming across. We had the tower bird here. And we had a Shondell all the way down here. Um, I first barreled the first and last and second barreled everything else on the Shondell. Again, I killed that first barrel. I just brought the gun up nice and slowly, stopping about half a meter underneath it and taking that shot with a dead gun. Oh. The tower bird, again, I applied a very, very slow pull away. I believe I overled it in the first barrel, slowed the gun down again and broke it in half with the second barrel. Pull. Pull. This e-bird again, I, you can see my gun go high on the first barrel, kill it, with the, kill it with the second shot. So again, you'll see me moving very, very slowly throughout this video, making sure of the line, using everything I did with slow hands with a connection to the target, apart from the A. So I managed to kill all five singles, which I knew if I had the lead, I was going to keep the lead. Pull. Oh. Moving on to the doubles, the doubles were big, right? You'll hear the crowd go. The doubles were big. We had um, this A bird coming off this tower, off this trap here. Again, I went straight to a spot out in front of it. On report, the chandelle off the tower, and again, I just let my hands go free, pulled off it real fast. And took that shot. Pull. Pull. The second double is the one where I believe I won the event. We had the tower and this e-bird. So the e-bird came out first. Because I missed it high twice... I let it go over the top of its arc, stayed underneath the line, got a real good break on that. And then I shot the, I shot the tower where I killed its second barrel with super slow hands, just stayed on the line. And you'll see on the video, it's the best kill on the tower bird. Again, this was all shot this peg with game war, six and a half. Pull. My mindset changed completely. I checked the scorecard and I realized out of the seven targets we were faced with, I only needed three to win. That changed my mindset. I started to move and behave a little differently. Um, you'll see on the video here, we've moved to the right. The tower's now way to our left. The targets we had here was the same A-Bird, the Shondell, two different targets from the right-hand side and a very fast overhead. I missed this bird from the right-hand side, both barrels out in front. You'll see that just... A little bit excited. I thought it was one of the easier targets. Let my hands go a little bit too free. Pulled off and went way out in front of it. Pull. 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 
The Shondell, which was one of the crazy shots. I actually thought I would just explode it at the top. Did the same move as peg two, but missed it. I missed it underneath. You can see that. And I killed it on the way down a good 85 yards down there. You'll see the smoke in the background down here. When I hit that one, that really, that really gave me the buzz. Paul. Paul. Um, kill the overhead, no problem, first barrel. Paul. Paul. Then, the question I've been faced with numerous times, what happened to me on this A target? So, you'll see the gun go to the bird, I pull off the target, and nothing happens. You see the gun stop completely, because I've got lots of nerve damage and ligament damage from playing rugby in my hand, sometimes... It bites me and the gun just doesn't go off. And I never recovered. I missed it both barrels down here. But I killed my three singles and that was the win. Paul. In the pair, I could relax a little bit. We had this really long crosser here. Again, I shot pull away. Missed it first barrel, a little bit excited about the win. And pulled it off with the second barrel. So I never got to shoot, never got to shoot the shot. Paul. Paul. That's how I shot the super final. That's how we progressed through. My mindset changed from attack to hold the lead to defend the lead. So my mindset changed completely. Um, went to a spot on the A-bird. Everything else was super, super, super slow pull away. So... It's a little bit of a bonus video. Hope you enjoy it and we'll catch up soon.